Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I wanted to show you Raspbian Pixel x86. Now this is Raspbian Pixel running on a PC. This PC has an i3-4170 CPU, 8 gigabytes of RAM. I'm using an 8 gigabyte USB 3.0 stick to run this from. This is pretty cool, guys. I will leave a link in the description so you can go and download it from the Raspberry Pi Foundation page. I've tried a lot of stuff on this. Now, I tried to get a couple Steam games running, but I'm limited on space with this USB drive and I didn't want to go back through the install. I'm going to do that later on. I have a spare 60 gigabyte SSD that I'm going to install this on and run some games. But if I try to run a Steam game now, I tried two different ones, Dota and Chroma Gun, and they just crash. Not sure what's going on with that. But everything seems to work great except for my built-in sound. Now I'm using the built-in Intel HD 4400 graphics. We're going to go and run a quick Sysbench benchmark. Now I did a video a few days ago on the Raspberry Pi versus the XU4. I'm going to take those Raspberry Pi 3 scores and just put them up on screen for you. Obviously, this is going to blow it out of the water by leaps and bounds, but I just wanted to show you guys. So first one is going to be a single thread syspinch. So like I said, obviously this x86 CPU is going to blow the pie out of the water, but I just wanted to show you by how much. Lower scores are better scores. Now I'm going to run a multi-threaded or a four thread benchmark. This is a dual core processor with four threads. And here we have the multi-thread scores. Okay, so now I'm just going to go online and run SunSpider, and I'm also going to run Octane. I have scores for my Raspberry Pi 3. This PC actually cost me $100 on Craigslist. Had 8 gigabytes of RAM, a 500 gigabyte Western Digital Blue hard drive, and the i3-4170 CPU. So it's really not that much more than a Raspberry Pi with a power supply and SD card and everything like that. We're just going to run a quick Sun Spider benchmark. Lower is better. This is just a browser-based JavaScript benchmark. And finally, I just wanted to run this Octane benchmark. As you can see, the Raspberry Pi 3 scored a 2,524, and my i3 scored a 31,940. Really big difference between performance here. One last thing I want to test before I get out of here is just YouTube video playback. I'm running this at 1080p 60fps and recording it at 1080p 60fps. It runs very smooth. We cannot get the Raspberry Pi to play 1080p on YouTube to save our lives. Now, like I was saying, I, I do completely understand that the Pi is a very low-powered, small, single-board computer, and this is a PC with much more power. It draws more power, and usually they're more expensive. But I paid $100 for this PC. If you want to try Raspbian Pixel out, you can flash with Etcher, or Win32 Disk Imager, I'll leave a link in the description. I'm trying to get Steam up and running. I'm going to install this to an SSD later on. If you guys want to see any games or apps running within Raspbian Pixel x86, let me know in the comments down below, and I'll try my hardest to get it made. I really appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully, we can get Minecraft installed, run some Dota 2, and some other Steam games on here. So let me know what you want to see. Like always, thanks for watching.